Why did Allah take shahada in the, in the Quran? If Allah were God, how come he converted and became a Muslim? And tell us, tell us. This is it, man. You are seeing it. No, tell us. Let's quote it for the old world. This is it. <laughs> okay. Just tell us. At this point. Praise the Lord. I am not going to put this one. I want you to open your phone. Oh, All yeah. of you have Google. Oh, open yeah. your phone and go. Hi guys, you're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. So this pastor actually had a debate with a Muslim imam saying that Allah actually took his shahada, that is, he converted to Islam based on his research in the Quran. He believed that how can God accept Islam? How can God take shahada? So this was a very heated debate between a pastor and imam and let's hear what the imam has to say about this question so let's check it out why did allah take shahada in the in the quran like seriously if allah were god how come he converted and became a muslim what? were men of faith one epic debate in this heated encounter between an imam and a well-known pastor okay. this is only a highlight of the viral debate Praise the Lord. He didn't give me the one million he promised you. Ah, are you there for the money? And you all are witness. You are there for the spiritual growth. <laughs> Sir. Did, why did Allah take shahada in the, in the Quran? Really? If Is Allah true? were God, how come he converted and became a Muslim? Muslim. Wow. This one is strong. Boy. I've never heard of these guys. It is straightforward. Okay. He said, God converted to Islam and became a Muslim. And he took Kalimatu Shahada. Who gave him Kalimatu Shahada? Who converted him? We asked him. Pastor Solomon, all these heresies, all these blasphemies, they are laughable. Can you tell us in al Quran, wait, the place where Allah converted to Islam exactly. and took Kalima to Shahada? Just tell us the page, just tell us the chapter, tell us the verse mm -hmm. in al Quran. It is I simple. That. I said, I'm going to give you one million naira if you can show me. Oh. We are God, Allah, instructed Prophet Muhammad to have sex with married woman, uh, woman other than his questions? wives. Just tell us. Tell us. We can even Google it and place for everyone to see. It is simple. Yes. Or you read. Or call a friend. Are you true? Yes. Okay. First one, I want to take the system privileges. No, system. Yes, system just system. tell us the place. It, if I tell you the hadith, can you can you put it there? We will google it and we put it there. Tell us the hadith. Hadith what? Tell us. We are God. You see, it is no more in the Quran now. Mm. It is the it is in the hadith that God speaks. And tell us, tell us. This is it, man. You are seeing it. No, tell us. Read Let's it quote now. it for the whole world. This is it. <laughs> yes, okay. Just tell us. At this praise, word. praise the Lord. You see, you oh, yeah. see. At this you know, I have I have mentioned so many hadiths which they did not put on the uh, We will Google it. I am not going to put this one. I want you to open your phone. Oh, All yeah. of you have Google. Oh, open yeah. your phone and Google system privileges oh. of Muhammad. Which Allah, are these? Allah gave him. We are. Which are these? No. I can write, wait, I can write 20, 25 privileges of Jesus Christ and put it on the Google. No. So it be also on me to give quotations of whatever I write. So give us the Addis, give us the chapter, give us the page, give us the number, oh. and you have your wow. one million naira. Pastor Solomon. It is simple. Sorry. For Maybe. sincerity of all purpose. Tell us the hadith. Quote the hadith. Quote the hadith. The chapter of the hadith. Yes. yes. And let us see. Or the page. 
or at this number what? Page what? Is it Sohi Buhari? Is it Sohi Muslim? Is it Ibn Majah? Is it Rimisi? Where God commanded Prophet Muhammad to have sex with married women. Sir, this is it. Why Please, quote the Hadis. Quote the Hadis. Use, use microphone. Quote the Hadis. Let me see, let me see. Quote the Hadis for us. Please. Add its words. Add its words. Add its words. Add its words. No, no. This is Naira land now. He was showing me Naira lands. This is Naira No, this is Naira land for us now. Please. You are, show, you, are telling, you are showing Naira lands. Tell us the Addis, let us go with it. Naira land is a, is a forum <laughs> where yeah. you can discuss. I can where discuss. I can lie. Where I can prevaricate. Where yeah. I can fabricate. Which Addis? Which Addis? So, he buried it, or he Muslim, he Bruno Major, the missing, which one? Even if, if it is Doif at this, quote it, let us know. Man, this is a real flow. This is a real flow. I can't hear my Islam. Man. Allah, I can't be my Babo go, Benny, Yawo, Ni Yawo, son. Ni Bono, I know the Koran. Kosi, oh, I know Adisi, Adisi, wo. Chat this, you look on. Page, you wo. Number, wo. Oh, yeah. Please, please. Oh, use microphone. Use microphone. Please use microphone. Let's be clear. The the book name is in Arabic. You people can see my phone here. I have shown to this guy. I have, you have seen it. He said sixteen privileges. He said the sixteen privileges is in Arabic, yes. and you are not. He is not able to read Arabic yet. He knows that God commanded Muhammad to marry to to have sex with married women. You are showing us Naira lands now. I want to. Uh, Pastor Solomon. Pastor Solomon, quote the Addis for us. <laughs> Addis. I want to read it so that you see what I'm this doing. This is no. Addis. Let's, let's, let's people see it. You let's the whole world, world it. see yes. it. Uh, Madam, please, excuse us, please. Okay. This is an intellectual gathering. Yes. You understand? Wait. Uh -huh. If you want to say something, you cannot come here proof. and okay. make a book of skin. It is here. Bring we your are. evidence. Add it what? Add it what? Discussion. It's, it's, it's just like a WhatsApp oh, group. No. What's this? <laughs> Pastor Solomon. Pastor Solomon, yeah, sit down, please. Sit down, point. please. Let me ask my question. Let me ask my question. Ask your question, Malam. Let me ask my question. Pastor Solomon, if you cannot show me, let me ask my question. Let me ask my question, please. Pastor Solomon. Uh -huh. No, he's not attentive. When he's attentive, Pastor Solomon, I, I, uh, use use microphone, use microphone, use microphone. I have listed so many hadiths which they did not put there. Why did they not put those ones there? I have hey, listed so many hadiths. Why was it not put you. on the you screen? Know, you know, because of time. It, wait. Okay. Okay. Sorry. They put Bible well, and they not We put are this. sorry about that. Let's let's put this at this. Tell us at this number what. It is not a landing now. <laughs> Please tell us the at this. Hey, Ivanu Jeti Fulo. Pata pata. Ivanu Jeti Fulo. Yam yam. Ni tori awabeke wale ala. Oh yeah, which are these? A what we are The song sounds familiar to the one we sing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it will help the algorithm to promote the video to many more audiences. Consider this as an act of charity. Until next time. I don't know why some people would just come and talk without fact without proof you can't just say you saw this and oh yeah tell us read it out is a problem what is this man's problem this pastor's problem okay yes i know that one thing i also noticed, I noticed about the imam is the fact that the imam did not emphasize on the first question it was more on the second question this actually happened in nigeria and you know that they are Yorubas, yes, because the, the Imam spoke Yoruba because he was trying to interpret the same question in Yoruba language. And they had a gathering, you know, Quran versus Bible debate. And this pastor came to ask that, why did Allah, that is God, why will God take 
convert to Islam if he's a god. Okay, show us the proof where God actually converts. Because it, as Almighty God, there's no way you can convert to your own religion. It doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, give us proof. You can't give proof. You kept on saying that uh, you've mentioned so many topics. They did not display it on the projector. This this one, oh, yeah, give us proof. Now, you, you are talking about the fact that Allah told Prophet Muhammad to marry married women, in which it is not, you know, based on the Imam. He said, it's not it's not fact it's not true and i was so disappointed when the man could not read it out because he knew that it was not from adit it was from a platform a forum where else people go there to have discussion those people are just having their own discussion maybe based on what they read in the quran or from the adit and they misunderstood the whole you know situation or the whole verse they not you know Sugar caught it in their own way. That's the reason why they had that discussion. In because when he was saying that 16 privileges of Prophet Muhammad, let me know your thought, guys. What do you think about this pastor? You know, I felt like he, he went too far. He shouldn't have come to this kind of gathering to actually say things that he's not sure of. You should do your research properly. At least he should have read it, even though it's from Nyerland, which is like a news. Uh, platform a new site okay read what they put there and i'm sure the person would have put the quotes you know when you quote something you give us the passage where or uh, the verse you got it from in the quran right so why couldn't he read it when he was showing it to i don't know if the other man is a pastor you know the man said was disappointed and the fact that it was after the morning you were saying that the imam promised you so 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 amount of money in which you, you don't have your proof you don't have your facts please let's be careful with the way we discuss religion we should be careful with, with what we discuss we should be careful with our action our words because this is not actually fair it's not actually fair on anybody because if they do the same thing to christianity they won't like it i love the fact that the imam you know well, you know, handled it very, very well and maturely. No, they handled it so well. No violence, no insults, nothing like that. He just kept asking, where is it written? Give me proof. Read it. Where from the added? He was even mentioning some of the, you know, um, the passage. I don't know whether it's verse, I'll call it, from the added. He was like, just say it. If you say it, then I'll give you the money right here, right now. So the only the man could not give the proof, he was now using the past to try and, you know, make his point clear, saying that he has said a lot of addicts, they did not project it. Okay, let's forget about what you said before that they did not talk about. Now you've brought another new topic, then read it. Even though it was wrong, he should have read it. Yes, I know it's going to feel, it's going to feel bad. But now he just embarrassed himself more. You should have read what you saw or you should have asked questions. I'm sure he didn't read it properly. He just saw one particular line or one particular word and just concluded that, ah, so this is how it is in Quran. So let me know your point of view, guys. What do you think about this whole discussion? Me, I felt like the pastor overdid it. No, he was totally wrong. I'm a Christian and I will not support what is not right. He should have done his research properly before coming to this kind of gathering because it's, it's not fair to them. It's not fair to the Muslims for you to come and make a point without proof. It's not fair. And kudos to the manner at which they, they comport themselves all through this discussion was really amazing. I love that. Let me know your point of view, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.